with us in studio is Greg from the Campbell Sport Fire Department. Greg, good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Well, um, you're, you're with us here, and uh, in, in our news this morning um, on our website and on the radio was, and let's talk about the simulation first sure. at the, um, uh, the Campbell Sport area at the elementary school. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this was a little surprising because, you know, I remember being in elementary school, yes, a long time ago, and they would always inform you there's going to be a fire drill this Friday, and it's going to go, you know, and we're all going to have to line up in single file and make our way quietly. But this is different because nobody except, like, three people knew about this uh, this simulation. So tell us about it. Yes, the, uh, the principal, the secretary, and the head custodian were the only ones that knew about it. Um, we did it as a surprise drill for faculty, staff, and students. Um, and we introduced um, the non-hazardous theatrical smoke into the matrix to make make uh, some sort of realism. Wow, this um, was a real deal. Yeah. Um, okay. We had smoke that was filling the classroom that then poured out into the hallway. Um, it was obviously seen by somebody in the building, pulled the fire alarm. 911 was called. We were dispatched responded and went in and simulated putting the fire out and doing search and rescue and those kind of things. Was 911, were they now, I mean, do they know what was yes, going they on? Yes, okay. they knew it was okay. a drill. Um, they knew it was coming in as a drill and dispatched us appropriately. Now, uh, just think about Barbara Walters right now. I have to ask the hard questions. Were you concerned that uh, someone might have gotten hurt or panicked or... Oh, certainly. Our, our biggest concern that, you know, somebody would have seen the smoke and sure. panicked and flipped, fell, got hurt. Right. And that would have tarnished everything we were trying to achieve. Of course. Uh, fortunately, that didn't happen. Everybody, students, staff, faculty, all remained extremely calm wow. uh, throughout the whole situation. Uh, by the time we arrived on scene, they were all out of the building. Uh, the principal had done her accountability, and everybody was accounted for. Mm, this is we huge. Had, yeah, we had talked about... Um, staging a student missing uh, we didn't because we felt that it's probably gonna happen anyway right, right. and we were happily surprised that it did not and everything went great that's wow. amazing at what point in time did they let everybody know what was going on uh, I think once once we started clearing the smoke from the building uh -huh. um, I talked to a few teachers afterwards as we were wrapping things up and they all thought it was on you know the building was on fire and and they all thought it was the real deal, so it worked out great. Okay. But okay. what a wonderful outcome to know that these teachers and the faculty make sure made sure that the kids were safe. I mean, that is the number one priority, so that's, that's this is absolutely. great news. Absolutely, yeah. Parents of, uh, of students in elementary school should be very happy of how their students prefer, or how their children performed, wow. how the faculty and staff performed. It was, Isn't that I, awesome? It was great. I, I said this to Heather um, earlier in the show. I said, I've never recall the elementary school doing this or somebody around this area doing this to this extent? No, I, we've never done it in the Campbell Square area to this extent. Uh, you know, they always have their own fire drills and, and you know, the kids go out and line up and then they go back to their classroom and it's, you know, just another drill. And Things kind of, people tend to get complacent with that stuff. Sure. And that was the reason why we wanted to throw the smoke into it in a sense of realism. Well, you know, you think about it, all the bad things that can happen from tornadoes to, you know, the national security, things like that. And so people, like you said, tend to think, ah, oh, it's just a fire, no big deal. Exactly. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. Well, on the heels of that, and speaking of, uh, of doing tests, uh, you guys have uh, provided something to the Campbell Sports Fire Department that's really going to help people at home, correct? Yes, yeah. Um, to wrap up Fire Prevention Week on Saturday, we are having our open house from 9 a.m. to noon at the fire station, 548 East Main Street in Campbell Sport. And the highlight of that event is we are doing a live kitchen fire uh, demonstration at 11 a.m. Mm. Uh, we've built a 8 by 12 kitchen, fully equipped with stove, refrigerator, table, counters, everything. Uh, and we are going to simulate a grease fire on that, on the stove. Mm -hmm. uh, demonstrates people why you do not put fire or put water on a grease fire, and then we are going to let it develop fully involve the kitchen and then put it out. Wow, okay. that's ex that's exciting and informative all at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is something about a fire that, I mean, it sounds weird to say it like this, that is, is fascinating, I imagine. Yes, um, it's, 
It's going to be very educational, I think, for the people mm -hmm. um, that, that come and watch it. I think they're going to be surprised how fast a fire, you know, develops. Yeah. A fire doubles in size roughly every 30 seconds if it's, wow. if it's you know, unimpeded by anything. Untreated, so, yeah. yeah. Um, during the open house, visitors can also partake in uh, some, some goodies, I guess, huh? Yes, we're going to have uh, smoke alarms and batteries there for the people that need them. Uh, we're going to have a representative there with for, uh, fire extinguishers um, doing service sales. We'll also be doing fire extinguisher training for anybody that's interested. Uh, we have blood pressure, blood sugar checks. Wow. Um, we're going to have, obviously, public education information uh, regarding fires and also information if anybody's interested in volunteering on the fire department. We're always certainly looking for volunteers. Um, our mascot partner is going to be there. That's been a huge success this year. Uh, with the kids. They've really uh, warmed up the partner. Um, it was kind of funny. They were all asking where partner was yesterday. Now, what is partner? I'm not, I'm not familiar with Partner is a, is a fire pup. He's our department mascot. Oh, awesome. Um, that helps us with fire prevention. Oh, that's so, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And we have arts and crafts, fire station tours, equipment tours, all that kind of stuff. Sure. This is really important. As I mentioned before, you know, fire, I think people think, oh, well, we're always safe. We're safe around the house. But fires aren't going to happen. Nobody in the house smokes. And we make sure we turn off our ovens. There's a lot of ways that fires can start in the home that people, even careful people, can't you Absolutely, know, absolutely. Um, kitchen fires are the number one cause of fires in the home. Sure. Followed by heating appliances. Mm -hmm. Um but there's, you know, matches, lighters. Okay. Um, you know, many different ways fires can start and always got to be on the alert. Well, especially this time of year. I know we have to go here, but this time of year with candles being lit, I have to tell you, we're very, very careful about fire around our house. Came down the other morning, someone had left a candle lit on the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. And here it was inches from a centerpiece, you know, plastic centerpiece. So, it, you know, it's amazing yeah. how quickly things Accidents can start. Can happen. You Absolutely. bet. Campbellsport Fire Department holding their annual Fire Prevention Week open house. Uh, it is Saturday from 9 until noon. Give us the address again, Craig. 548 East Main Street. All right. Have yourself Thanks. a good day, and thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Check of our eye on the community here this morning, presented by OptiVision.